are filming a Halloween video. We are going to make a cute little boozy cocktail and some little snacks you can eat if you are maybe just chilling out watching movies on Halloween, you know, hand Like candy. what we're going to do? The sugar. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is, our idea is that this is like a, an elevated Halloween spread. Yeah. Right? If you're trying to have fancy food on Halloween but don't want to put a lot of effort into it. Then this is the video for you. We got you. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay, so first we're going to make a little sangria action. What's it called? Bougie sangria. <laughs> so, we're going to make that first because you have to have your cocktail to sip on while you're making the rest of your food. So what you will need is you will need a fruity red wine. We are using a Pinot Noir. You're going to need some triple sec, sparkling apple cider, oranges, preferably blood oranges. We just couldn't find them, which is kind of sad. Blackberries, sugar, and if you want to be super cute, you can get like little rock sugar things to garnish your glasses with. And black. Because and black is spooky. spooky. Okay, so we're going to put in one sliced orange. We're just putting in one. I think it's one. One inch. Maybe. <laughs> How much? <laughs> Sarah's like, no. no, this is like like fruity. Like, like we're putting in a few. You put a bunch of fruit in, and then, and then like, the sugar, and then. Orange. You're gonna put in a sliced orange. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like. Not one. No, not one that. singular <laughs> slice. <laughs> I was like, Katie, have you oh, had sangria? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I am dead. Okay, oh. so we're gonna put I was some like, oranges. <laughs> Like, however many you think is right. <laughs> okay. Blackberries. Oh, all these will be going in. Yeah, I don't think we... <laughs> these are really, like, very squishy. Well, yeah. Maybe two handfuls. That's cute, right? I have, like, really small hands. <laughs> cool. Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, 
me and my um, roommates in college would get these for like every single holiday, but then it was sad when there was no holiday. So like in the interim months, they come out with like very random things. Like so they still have them during non holidays Oh my god, I forgot how small they are. So cute. Why do these look like Nespresso pups? Do these look like ghosts or penguins to you? For sure not ghosts. <laughs> Don't they look like penguins? I can penguins. I respect the like ombre eye though. Super, like honestly, fancy pillsbury. So I don't think just, it's like, ombre, I think it's the people and the rest sorry, of just, like, that. Sorry, just like, I think just like lay, okay, so you just want to lay them on the tray. Like so. I was telling Katie this earlier, but I went to Disneyland recently and I think that there is a conspiracy theory that Winnie the Pooh and Pillsbury do are the same person. Comment down below if you agree. Do you want to like explain why you think that so people aren't just like, oh, what? Well, do I have to do the laugh? Yes. I was on the Winnie the Pooh ride, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> I was on the Winnie the Pooh ride and he goes, woo, which I feel like is the same little woo thing that the Pillsbury do. Boy, it does. Also, if you guys know who like Mr. Bill is, he was, not. he was on that, he's like an iconic um, claymation character from like my mom's era. And there's a- Or you need to separate those more, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there was a MasterCard commercial and it, he, was, he would go, oh no! Do you ever see that? No. And he goes, oh no! And he's like, he's super optimistic about everything. So it's like, he like hits the windshield. He's like, oh no! okay this is the fastest way to get to work and like <laughs> he's just like it's like everything like really bad happens to him and he's so optimistic about it um but his voice is literally the same as like Pillsbury Dope Boy and Way the Boom. That's cute. That's pretty cute. Okay so now per box baking instructions we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 and in my opinion I don't know what you think but in my opinion what makes these really good is you have to under bake them. I understand that. Yeah. I concur. Yeah. You don't really want these crispy. No, they shouldn't be crispy cookies. I don't really like the word crispy. Like crunchy. Crunchy. They should they should have like a little should be a little chewy in the center. Okay, so I'm gonna put okay. them in the oven now. <laughs> so now what we are going to make is some like a little pumpkin mousse trifle thing. So you can feel fancy when you are watching your Halloween movies and waiting for trick or treaters. So good. We actually sampled this earlier. Yeah, we did do like a test kitchen action, you know. It's quite good. So what you will need is you will need Oreos, golden or chocolate, up to you, personal preference. Um, okay. Vanilla pudding, um, pumpkin pie spice, evaporated milk, Cool Whip, and pumpkin puree. Not like, like you want the pumpkin puree that doesn't have the spices already mixed in because you want to add your own. So you're going to take two boxes of pudding. I'm eating Oreo, sorry. Do you want to whisk or do you want me to whisk? I'll let you whisk. Okay. So do you want to like gently pour in this entire can while sure. I'm whisking? Um, is, the, is the lid attached? <laughs> yep. Okay. Please what? Okay, so there... pour in the evaporated milk to your pudding while you're stirring it or else it will all, but pour it kind of quickly. Like kind of like quicker than that, like dump it in. But you don't want clumps, and I had an issue with clumping when I just like dumped it in. So I recommend. Oh really? Pouring. Yeah. So they got a little better. Yeah. Great. One cup. One pumpkin. cup of pumpkin goes in. Don't it. And like this is kind of one of those things where like you can taste it, and if you think it's too thick, you can like I think our pudding's a little bit like very too thick. So I'm just going to pour in some more evaporated milk to thin it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so what you guys missed? We just finished mixing this and we took the cookies out of the oven. So now they're cooling. And now we're going to add some pumpkin pie spice into our mixture. You could measure it or you can eyeball it. Like Katie's doing. Up to you. Oh, it smells so it smells good. so good. I love putting a little bit of it into my coffee, too. It have feels so fall. Have you ever done that? I don't drink coffee. That's right. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to add in an entire container of Cool Whip. 
super healthy. Wow, the whole thing? Yeah. I love frozen cool whip. Frozen cool whip is so good. And then just like sit in front of the couch. <laughs> Spoon. <laughs> it's like, no, you know how it's like people um, do that with peanut butter. You know, like they'll just I do that with peanut a butter. A jar, and I don't, since I don't like peanut butter. So cool, what's your peanut butter? Basically. Interesting. Sarah, do you like the peanut butter? If you guys want talking in the background, Lauren's sister is here. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's me, Todd Chris. Okay, so once it's all mixed, we're gonna put it in the fridge to chill it while we make whipped cream. Hey. Now we're gonna make whipped cream. What is that? What do we have there? Heavy cream. I don't really measure things. I don't like that. <laughs> you can. I don't like that. And just like throw in some vanilla. Sure. Cute. Cute. Whoa. That. Then throw in some powdered sugar. That'll be good. And again, you can do this by hand, but I highly recommend some sort of hand mixer, or else you'll be like whipping cream for days. Okay, so now to the fun part. If you've kind of seen a parfait, that's kind of like what this is. Yeah. A trifle. That's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to do, um, we smashed up some Oreos. I have golden Oreos here and Katie has normal. And then um, we'll do a layer of that and then we'll do pumpkin, right? Yeah. And then whipped cream. Yep. And then do it all over again. Pete. And like, it depends on, I don't know how many layers you can get. It depends on what bowl. Like, we could probably get two to three of each, probably. Yeah. So, should we start? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you scoop. Uh-huh. And then you just... Oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You can just use a spoon, too, but I thought that was easier. It's fancy. And then you can smooth it out with your spoon. Oh, these scoops are really throwing me for a loop, honestly. Ooh, it's looking layered! That's cute. Yeah. And if you're really crazy, you could do golden Oreos and chocolate. Chocolate. Like alternate layers? Like, yeah, right. Dude, I didn't even think of that. I don't think I would like that because I don't know. It sounds like a little much for me, but like if you were really wild, you would probably do that. You're really wild. I'm like loving the smell that this is giving off right now. Okay, and then we're just gonna finish it off with a dollop of cream. Or a lot. <laughs> and then if you're feeling so bold, you can put a cookie, do you want to put a cookie on top? Yeah. You can put a cookie on top, make it extra cute. <gasps> look how cute. I love how you guys both did that differently, but they're both so cute. Wait, they actually are so cute. They look so good. Okay, so we're gonna go do two more, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now, what you've all been waiting for, we're gonna taste it. And we have a special taste guest. <laughs> taste special tester. guest, taste tester, yeah, special guest. Um, my lovely twin sister, Sarah. Yay! Okay, that's <laughs> enough. Yay! Oh. Would you like a spoon? You may recognize my voice from behind the camera. <laughs> She's like our producer that we don't pay. Yeah. Okay, which, which one, one do you, do you want? want? As I take this one. That's so you can't have that one. Um, which one? Is this the two? That's the two. Multi? Yeah. yeah, into it. Into the multi flavor. I agree. Okay, everybody, everyone, yeah, do your Wait, I need to go down. There we go. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. That pumpkin flavor is very good, ladies. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's kind of like a deconstructed pumpkin pie. It's so good. Like, in the best way. All right, well. I'm just going to be eating this. Thank you so much for watching. If you try any of the recipes, like these really complicated slice and bake cookies. Let us know if you like them. And we hope everyone has a really fun and safe Halloween. And we will see you very soon. Bye.